Hello and welcome to a brand new school year here at PACES. For those students who are new, at this time you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all of the different processes that you're trying to figure out right now. In today's video, I am going to lead you step by step through everything that you'll need to set up so that you'll be fully prepared for our first day of school online together. In today's video, I'll be leading you through the process of downloading all the requirements that are necessary to log in to online classes for PACES. I'll show you where to find the links for classes and how to log in to an online class session. I'll be demonstrating today on a Mac, but if you have a Windows-based computer, don't worry, uh, because all of the steps will be exactly the same. The only difference will be that some things might look a little bit different. Now, before we get going, you'll want to make sure that you have a few things. First, you want to make sure that you have the Google Chrome browser downloaded on your computer and that that is the browser that you are using. You'll also want to make sure that you have Java on your computer and it is the most up-to-date version of it. Links for everything school-related can be found on the PACES website, which can be found at pacescanada.org. In order to access your online class, simply hover over Classroom and then click on the link that says Moodle and Blackboard. This will take you to the PACES Moodle site. You can log into the site on the left-hand side using the username and password that was sent to you by our principal, Mrs. Morehouse. Once you log in, you'll be brought to the home page where you'll find the school calendar, the classes you're enrolled in, and the different categories of the courses available at PACES. To find the test class for our practice run today, you're going to want to click on the classroom of the teacher who is doing your training session. In our example here today, I will be showing you my own classroom, so Ms. Rochford's classroom. Ms. Rochford's classroom contains some welcome information to start for the students as well as a calendar. And just below the calendar, you'll notice a link called Class Login Testing. This is the link to an online class session, which you can tell actually by the purple icon that is right next to it. I want you to click on this link. Now, you'll click on the link that says Join Session. The very first time you click on a session link, you'll be prompted to download the Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. First, you'll need to select which platform you use, so that will be either Mac or Windows. Then you're going to click on the Download button. Now, depending on your computer speed in conjunction with your internet connection, the download process can take anywhere between 5 minutes all the way up to 30 or 40 minutes. This is the only time that you'll have to download this file, so don't worry about uh, the time that it's taking. Um, you won't have to do this every single time that you log into class. So a little bit more of a time investment when we first start, uh, but it gets much quicker uh, for subsequent times after this. Once your download has completed, you should have a tab at the bottom of your browser window. It should be called Blackboard Collaborate Launcher.zip. If by any chance you don't see the tab at the bottom of your browser, you can also find the file in your downloads folder. You'll need to click on this file to open it in order to unzip it. Now, we're going to go back to the page in your web browser that we were just at. There's one more file that we're going to need to download. This is the meeting file and it will be the only file you will need to download each time you join an online session from now on. To start the download, simply click on the Join button in the middle of the page. Just like with the previous file, you should notice the Progress tab at the bottom of the browser. Once it has completed downloading, click on the tab, or you can also locate it in your Downloads folder. This will start a Blackboard Collaborate session. Once you click on the meeting file in order to open it, you may encounter a few pop-up boxes. The first may ask if you'd really like to open the file because it was downloaded from the internet. You simply have to click yes or open. Secondly, you may be prompted to move the launcher file from your downloads folder into the applications folder. You'll want to click on move to applications folder for this one. Finally, you may be asked if you're sure that you would like to run the program. 
make sure you place a check mark beside the statement saying not to show this application uh, any further, and then you're going to click Run. Now, depending on your operating system and the privacy settings that you have in place, you may encounter all, some, or none of these warnings. So don't be worried if you don't see any of these warnings, that is okay. Um, but if you do run into any of them, that is how you can handle them. Before the program can launch, you have to agree to the Blackboard Collaborate Participant Agreement. There's a link to the agreement that you're free to read over, but simply put, it states that you are willing to use the program responsibly, as well as you accept the use of cookies. And so once you've checked that, all you need to do is press accept. Um, if you do not accept, if you quit at this point, the program will not open. Uh, and so it is imperative that you actually do accept this and agree to the agreement. Finally, you'll be prompted to select your connection speed. This helps the program to determine the communication speeds that will be able to take place between it and your computer. There are a number of choices. I personally use a Wi-Fi network, and so I'm going to make that choice for myself here in the demonstration. But you'll choose the type of network connection that you have, so that's how your computer connects to the internet. If you'll always have the same type of connection, there is a checkbox that you can tick off underneath the connection choices to indicate that you don't need to be asked this question again. Once you press OK, you will finally be logged into class. You'll see your name in the participants list and any other people who may be logged in at the same time you are. At this point in time, you can actually go ahead and you can type your name on the whiteboard if you'd like to. Um, I'm demonstrating that here as I'm speaking and um, you can experiment a little bit with it as you are um, you know, just getting used to things. If you're not quite able to figure it out, that is okay. Um, all of the teachers at PACES, no matter who your teacher is, uh, will be going over that information for you the first day of school. Uh, so if you're not quite able to get it right now, uh, don't worry about it. We'll have lots of information and practice time for you uh, during the first week of school. Congratulations on getting logged in. If you have any questions about this process, please don't hesitate to contact either the teacher who trained you um, or our principal, Mrs. Morehouse. PACE staff all look forward to seeing you right after Labor Day. Have a great long weekend, and we look forward to seeing you for the first day of classes.